back to my YouTube. So it is the morning of my market. Uh, my market is here in a few hours. I was supposed to record this last night, but my husband and I binged a TV show instead. Um, so yeah, now we're, we're rushing a little bit, but I want to show everything new that I'm bringing to my market today. Um, so first up, I have a little dinosaur. And as always, if you have any questions about any of the patterns or where they came from, just comment below and I will let you know where it came from. We have a chunky toad and I'm trying to get some new no sew options out there for a new video because um, my other video has done really well. So I thought I would make another one, but I got to try the patterns first because I don't want to recommend something that I haven't made. Um, that just doesn't doesn't make sense to me what if the pattern sucks or what if it doesn't work out really easily so um i want to make sure that they're relatively beginner friendly and not too complicated um then i have this little squid i am gonna put a keychain on it when i get there um, my keychains are just in my i never took them out i never fully unpacked because my last event was two weeks ago um but it's really quick for the ball keychains that i use it's super quick to add it on um so i actually have a little spot where um you can add your own keychain to anything that I already made um, if somebody wants for a couple dollars. So um, then I got two mushroom boys and I tried to do this one a little different. Um, I think my flower work, my flower job needs some work, um, but I still, still think he turned out cute. And then this one I just gave spots. So we got two of those. These are going to be 15. Um, this one I'll probably put my $12 bin. He does have a butt. Um, this will be a $10 keychain. And then I think I'm gonna do 25 on him. I don't know, I've never made him before and I kind of made him not all in one go, so I don't truly really know how long it took. Um, and the first time making it, it always takes you longer. So um, I think I'm gonna put 25 on him. Um, and then chickens, of course. These I sell for 18. We got these two. Um, we got this one. And then I made a little nest. She has a nest pattern on her blog for the Oak and Marlowe pattern for Mabel. So I think I'm going to put 25 with the nest. So cute. So I just made two nests. I was debating on whether I should bring another one. And I just realized this one's not done. So love that. I'll probably try and do that real quick before I head out. Um, I just got to tie off the ends here. Um, so yeah, let's keep it. Let's keep that guy out. Um, so five chickens. Um, then I made a blueberry cow. This was a cow pattern I talked about in one of my previous videos that works up pretty quick. Um, it took me a little longer because I made them all blueberry, but otherwise, you know, I think about an hour and a half is probably what, what it took me. And I added in some color changes. She doesn't have any color changes on the body or the head. Um, so I added that to get a little, little something. So of course that took a little bit longer. Um, I'm gonna put him at 30. Um, I sold two of these without any of the color changes or without the purse for 30. So I may put 35 and see how he does. I can always lower him. It's a six hour event. So it's I think one of my longer ones. Um, the next up we have axolotls here. So this is the size I normally make with Parfait Chunky. And I sell these for 15. And then last time I made some, I made one with Sweet Snuggles and put it at 18. So I just happened to make bigger ones this time, apparently. So I made three with Sweet Snuggles and here is the size difference. So it's quite a bit bigger for $3, you know, but for me, it only takes me, you know, it takes me about the same time. Um, just the yarn's different, but quite a significant bigger. And then I made one out of either Sweet Snuggles or Parfait XL. I think it was Sweet Snuggles, just normal Sweet Snuggles. So this is a big boy. He's big. So I think I'm gonna put him at 25. So a 25, 18, 15. <laughs> okay, the next we have one sweet kitty. And then we have Three turtles and these always sell out too. I should honestly make more. Last time I made two. I upped it. We got three. I have three this three different variegated burn up blankets. So I made three this time. Then what's next? After that we have two little car hangers. 
Now, I wish I would have done this not red, but it is what it is. So we have a little flamingo and a mallard. And I did mess this one up. And I did the bobbles too big. But it was already like too late because I already have everything tied off. So they're cute. Um, sorry if you hear my son cry and he really wants, he's just, I don't know. He wants to be in here with me and he can't. Um, so that's why we're trying to be quick. Um, and then I made a little baby chicken out of pixie dust. This is the normal pattern. This is how like the size crazy difference. Like, look at that. <laughs> um, this is pixie dust and I think I used a four milliliter hook. There's that, and then we have mush pops, of course, because they did so well last time. And I have all those mush pops up there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mush pops. Eight mush pops. And then we have this mallard duck. That's like basically a mush pop. He looks so funny. See he's trying to listen. Um, but yeah, it's so funny. Um, I think the kids are really gonna love that. Um, I'm going to put him at 15, the mush pops I put at 12, and then I made a little whale. Um, I don't know, I was debating, I don't know if it's too big to put a keychain. I don't know. <laughs> um, and then I made this little baby frog, I still got to sew him closed um, and put a keychain on him, but I don't take not long at all. And like I said, my keychains are buried, so I didn't even sew them up yet. Um, so yeah. And then, and I sell the, him for 10. All my, right now all my keychains are 10. Um, if I do octos, I'll probably put those eight. Um, but I was trying to keep it easy because I didn't want to make another sign because I'm lazy. Two little leggy frogs, I sell these for eight. Um, what else? And then it looks like we just have a bunch of baby octos. So one, two, three, how many do we have? Four. Five, six, don't mind all my scrap yarn here. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen baby octos. Now, two of them, where are they? These two are out of sweet snuggles, so they're a little bigger. So I may put them in my $10 bin. Compared to it. Uh, but normally I sell these for five because they take me like 10 minutes. So um i think that is everything it doesn't seem like a lot when i break it down to the video but that is everything and then everything left that i didn't sell so it's probably about 550 worth of inventory or so um and last time i sold so much i wasn't able to replace that but i only had two weeks so 550 dollars worth of inventory in two weeks it's not bad not bad um after this one i think i have three weeks to prep but it's also my husband's I anniversary coming up. So I don't know. I may take a weekend off. I don't know. Depends what we end up doing. But yeah, after this, we'll get a little market content. I don't know if I'll get any setup um, content. Um, but I'll try and take some little vlog style content. Because it's a pretty big event. It's at the football field of one of the local high schools. Um, it's actually where I went to high school. Um, it's benefiting the soccer team. I did not play soccer, but they had reached out to me because they saw me at one of the other local events. Um, so the fee was 50 bucks, so a little steeper, but it's a donation to the soccer team. So I was like, yeah, whatever. Um, but they're supposed to have jump houses, hay rides. They have like big inflatable screens for um, football. Um, food trucks, of course, other vendors. There's about 30 of us, but I was looking at the list and some of them aren't like sellers. I think they're maybe advertising and then they just, you know, sponsored the event. Um, I'm not sure. So we'll see. Um, but it's from two to eight. So hopefully it'll be kids galore and parents will want to spend a little money on them. Also, I didn't really make, I didn't make any new Halloween stuff because I was too nervous. I may, I think I'm going to try and make a few ghosts during the event and see how they do, like make one and set it out and see if it gets any, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear my husband, he's being nuts. Um, but um, I may put one out and see how it does and if people pick it up and like it, then I'll, you know, make more during it because those are really quick um, for the little mini ghosts that I sell for 10 bucks. So yeah, stay tuned.